Hi everyone, it's your girl Young Africana, back at it again with another video. And if you guys want to see how I achieved this beautiful fall inspired makeup look from start to finish, go ahead and keep on watching. Alright y'all, so first things first, I'm going to go in with my burgundy eye pencil and this is from the brand Italia. I got it off of Amazon. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that and just kind of trace out the outline of my eyebrows and fill in my eyebrows with this. And as you guys can see, the color, it is super pigmented. And now I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eyebrow. I'm just using light hair strokes and filling in my eyebrows with the pencil. And again, I got this pencil off of Amazon. It's the Italia brand, and um, it's like a burgundy color. Now I'm just going to go ahead and use a spoolie just to kind of work that color into my eyebrows. And now on to setting my brows. I'm going to be using my NYX Brow Glue. And I'm just going to go ahead and work that into my eyebrows so my eyebrows stay nice and put. And now on to shaping my eyebrows. I am using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the color Coco, and I'm using my Morphe E32 brushes to carve it out. And I'm gonna do that for both top and bottom brows. Now after I'm done with it, I do like to drag the concealer upwards just so it could kind of have like a larger territory in a sense. And then it's easier for me to blend out my concealer into my skin so I don't have that halo brow effect. And I'm using my Morphe buffer brush just to kind of buff out the rest of the concealer and let it marry into my skin. Now I'm going to go into my Born This Way concealer in the color Toffee and I'm just going to go ahead and place that on my lids to prep for my eyeshadow. Now when it comes to eyeshadow, I am going to be using this bullet blending brush from Morphe and I'm using my Jaclyn Hill palette volume 2 in the color crazy and I'm just going to go ahead and pop that on the inner and outer sides of my eyes and kind of create like this half oval type effect. We are going to go for a halo eye so this is kind of how you create your halo eye is placing this first in the crease and leaving the middle part blank. I'm just going to go ahead and do that on both sides. And now I'm going to go into the same palette and use the color Homebody as my transition color. I'm just going to go ahead and pop that right on top of the red and kind of go in between the red and the orange just to buff in between those uh, two colors. Now when it comes to the base, I am going to go ahead and use my P. Louise base in the color Rumor Zero and mixing it with my concealer in the color Toffee. And I'm now going to go ahead and start carving out my halo with my Morphe E32 brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and just place that only in the middle section of my eyelid and nowhere else. Now to make that base even, I am going to go into my Morphe buffer brush just to kind of pat down that um, base so it's nice and sticky and the eyeshadow is able to stick to it. And as you can see, I'm trying to make that line crisp. And now onto eyeshadow, I am going to go back into that orange that I used on top. Um, right next to the red and then diffuse back and forth with the red and orange just so I could have this nice ombre effect. And 
and you want to just make sure that you take your time doing this you don't want to you don't want to make the colors bleed in together and like there's no contrast now for the very middle part i'm going into my juvia's place the nudes palette and i'm using this nice nude color in between and I was debating if I wanted to go for a shimmer or something matte, but I definitely wanted to go with something matte because people be sleeping on matte. Like the matte thing, it, it be making the eyes pop. Um, so now onto eyeliner. I am using my NYX Epic Ink Liner. And I'm just going to go ahead and line my eyes. I like to do a short wing, so that's exactly what I'm doing. It's just like a short, tiny wing. And this eyeliner is in the color black. Now for this concoction, for me to get this brown burgundy liner, I did mix in some matte lipsticks and I'm using the Fenty lipstick, um, the brown lipstick, uh, mixed with my Sephora red lipstick and I went ahead and used that for liner. But now on to skin, I am using my Milk Hydro Grip Primer and I'm just going to go ahead and prime my face. And now I'm going to go into the Hydro Grip uh, spray. I'm going to go ahead and spray that on my face. And then topping that with my The Professionals Pore Primer. And I'm just going to go ahead and place that specifically on my cheeks. And also around my um, mustache area. Because that's where it's the most porous. And my pores are the most open. And now to really mattify my face, I'm going in with this powder puff and I'm using my Huda Beauty Press Powder in the color Cinnamon Bun and I'm just pressing that into my skin. Now on to foundation, I'm using my Rare Beauty Foundation mixed with my Lancome Tint Idol Foundation and that is in the color 560 and um, 29N. And I'm just going to go ahead and buff that with my Real Techniques Buffer Brush. I'm just going to go ahead and buff that into my skin. And then I'm just using my small Morphe brush just to, you know, get those fine details. And when it comes to concealer, I'm going to go ahead and use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the color Coco. And I'm just going to place that in areas that I want to go ahead and highlight. So underneath my eyes, my mouth area, also my nose. And now to brighten up that highlight, I'm going to go into a lighter color um, from the same collection and I'm using the color Toffee just to lighten up my highlight. And what I like to do is I like to go ahead and buff out the outer corners of my concealer into my foundation so it's nice and seamless. And now on to contour, I am going to go ahead and use my Milk Sculpt Stick in the color Spaced. And I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose area and I like to spray my face with my Charlotte Tilbury spray just to kind of rejudge my face and make it moist and prepare it for the powder so it can stick to it. And I'm just using my Ulta foundation precision brush just to pat that in and blend out the concealer and I like to save my eyes for last. And now I'm just going to go ahead and buff that bad boy out. And I'm just going to keep on buffing that out. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this buffered angle brush from Morphe. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend out my contour. And now I just went ahead and reapplied Toffee in a lighter concealer just to brighten up my highlight and let that sit. And now onto blush, I am using this uh, e.l.f. 
putty blush and i forget the name exactly of it but it's in this nice orange shade as you guys can see and i'm just popping that in with my real techniques buffer brush and now i'm going to go ahead and blend out that concealer again just to really give myself a nice highlight and now i'm going to go ahead and use my huda beauty loose powder in the color cinnamon bun and i'm just going to go ahead and place that in the places that i highlighted at And now for liner, I am going to go ahead and mix the two. I'm using my NYX Epic Smoke Liner in the color Mauve Grit first, which is like this nice mauve color. And I, then I go into the color Fired Up just to give it more of that orange type effect because at first it was definitely on the mauve slash nude side and I definitely wanted it to be more on the orangey side. Now I'm just going to go back into that red and smoke out my under eye just so we can have like a nice put together look and I feel like this is really gonna put that look together. As y'all can see, it definitely gave me, um, you know, it did something. <laughs> it definitely did something, y'all. Now on to contour, I am gonna go in with my Juvia's Place Bronze Bronze, and this is in the color Deep Dark and I'm using the darkest color to contour my face and I'm using like this angled um, bullet brush from morphe just to apply that for my contour so it's nice and chiseled now i'm just going to go ahead and use my juvia's place blush palette and this is in the color volume one and i'm using this orange shade just to pop that on my cheeks and i'm just using this morphe blush brush and i'm just going to go ahead and pop that on my cheeks and now I'm just gonna go ahead and use this fluffy brush just to remove all the excess uh, I'm not gonna say dust powder on my face now for lashes what I like to do is I like to go ahead and use my L'Oreal lash paradise um, primer just to prime my lashes and this just kind of gives it a thicker and longer look I'm gonna go ahead and apply that first and then I'm gonna go into my Fenty Beauty mascara and it's in the color hella black I'm just gonna go ahead and place that right on top of the primer and it just gives you a fuller and thicker look so if you do have fine lashes use a primer and then your mascara to go ahead and give it that fuller and thicker effect Now I'm going to be completely honest, for my inner eyes, I completely forgot what color I used, but it's just like a pink shimmery um, eyeshadow that I'm using on my inner corners of my eyes, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that. And now for my inner corners, I do like to go in with my NYX Epic Liner in the color black, and I'm just going to go ahead and do like a little cat wing in the inner corners of my eyes. This is like kind of like my signature, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that with a light hand and do light strokes, and just kind of create that little triangle in the inner corners of my eyes, as you guys can see. And then I'm going to go back into that brown. Now on to lip liner, I am using this NYX lip liner and I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. I like to use the color black first uh, and then go in with my Fenty Beauty liquid lipstick and I'm just going to go ahead and top that over. It's a nice dark brown lipstick and I'm just going to go ahead and top that right on top just so I have a nice deep brown look. And now for lip gloss, I am going into my NYX Butter Gloss, and I believe it's in the color Madeline. Um, and then I'm going to top that with my MAC Lip Gloss, and it's in the color Lust. And I'm just going to go ahead and combine those two to kind of get this nice orangey, nude shade that kind of matches the eyeshadow that I have on my lids. 
And now on to highlight. I am going to use my Benefit Cosmetics highlighter and this is in the color cookie and i like to just apply this strictly just on my nose i'm just a highlighter nose gal i don't like applying highlighter on my cheeks and stuff i just like to keep it on my nose and now on to setting spray i am going to go ahead and set my face with um the professionals super setter and i'm going to pat that in and then i'm going to go ahead and set my face with my charlotte tilbury airbrush spray and i'm just going to pat that in and now to add for my finishing touches, I like to use my Benai Pink, Pretty Pink Powder. And I'm just going to go ahead and press that into my face. And this just kind of gives you like this nice finished look, a nice poreless look. And yeah, y'all, like if you're looking for like a super matte, super poreless, almost like porcelain Barbie type look, go ahead and do this after you set your face. I promise y'all, y'all won't regret it. And once that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, reapply my blush just to, you know, give my face some color. And overall, these are the finished results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this look from start to finish. And subscribe to my channel if you want more makeup and hair inspired looks. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.